So hey guys, in this video we are looking at stage 10 and how to, we can use it with OBS. I did a video like this about a year ago, but quite a few things have changed since then. OBS has added WIP output and uh, stage 10 has added WIP input. So this video is going to touch on how we can use stage 10 uh, to bring in remote streams in to OBS. Also how to bring in streams uh, from OBS via WIP into stage 10 and use stage 10 for guest management. Okay, uh, why this is important? Well, the current OBS WIP implementation that was added in version 30 recently is still pretty basic. It doesn't really work that well with Video Ninja. It doesn't have NAT traversal. It doesn't support multiple viewers. Uh, so not really well suited for Video Ninja. It's really more designed for publishing to a server like you traditionally do with RTMP. It's lower latency and it supports AV1, let's say, um, in theory. But it's it's not really quite the holy grail we hope it, it, it could be, will be eventually, hopefully one day. Uh, so we, we still really need to use some sort of server. Uh, I have MeshCast, uh, and while I do support WIP there, it's not really publicly available. It's not really what MeshCast is currently designed for. Um, but down the road, maybe I'll um, release a version that is more suited for that. Uh, but stage 10 is at the moment well suited. Um, I do have a relationship with stage 10. Um, I have some st stock options I've accumulated doing a consultation for them over the last seven years or so. But I'm not being paid for this video. I wasn't asked to do this video. Um, and this video, I'm also uh, using a paid version of the Stage 10 account. I think it's like seven bucks a month or like five bucks a year. So it's not, um, what I'm doing here is not necessarily free, but there is a free tier that you might be able to get away with a lot of the functionality here. Okay, so um, looking at stage 10, we can see that the site really focuses on live shopping, really doesn't give us a good idea of what we can actually do, which is kind of disappointing um, because it actually is quite capable for what we want to do with OBS. Anyways, so, so we'll uh, log in. Um, with an account. Uh, I'm just going to skip adding this. And when we log into stage 10, we have a um, a studio page. Now the studio page we see is a mixer as well. It also has outputs, all these other things. So you, if you wanted to, you could use stage 10 as an alternative to OBS. And that's primarily what I think stage 10 is trying to push people towards, but it is also fully compatible with um, OBS. And so we're not going to actually use most of what we see here. Um, we're we're going to focus just on the WIP and the WIP and OBS uh, components. So uh, to use it, we simply grab an invite link and now pretend we send this to a guest. I'll, I'll be my own guest. I'm going to join with John Doe. And it's a generic link that you can send to all your guests and they can join. And now we're going to add a whip source. So when the guest gets the invite link, they can get their own unique whip source. They can open up um, their OBS and go to settings, go to stream to the whip option, paste in the stage 10 URL. Hit OK, and then hit Start Streaming. Within Stage 10, you will see that uh, the stream appears with the name. That's that's guest. Uh, that's a guest feed, right? And you can do this again multiple times. Now, uh, you don't have to use the mixer. The guest at this point sees a blank window, and that's perfectly fine. Um, but if we wanted to expand this a little bit, 
we could go maybe have some welcome str uh, stream or in this case, I'm just downloading some uh, sample assets they have. Come on, any day now. Okay, so here we go. We're going to drag in this. Ooh, let's drag in this asset. So now the guest will see this spiral. Let's pick something that's a little less. And maybe you could add a, we a welcome message or something there. And so the guest joins and they see this. Um, once the guest is publishing, they can actually even close their page. And we can see that the whip ingest still works. So now if we wanted to bring this into um, stage 10, there's a little button here, you know, a little hamburger. It's really hard to see. A little hamburger icon, we can hit copy solo link. And if you're familiar with Video Ninja, um, you know, you can guess who kind of got that added in. Um, I was quite adamant on stage 10 having a solo link option. And so they were kind enough to listen. And so now uh, I'm going to show you with my own, uh, I have, oh, um, maybe I'll do it with this one. Let's use OBS here. I'm going to go to a browser source. We're going to add it in, put in the link. We're going to give it a width and height resolution, control audio via OBS, drop it in. And there we go. All right. You have to kind of use your, your imagination here, but realizing that, um, the guest is publishing to stage 10 and then stage 10 is now publishing back in via a browser source. But look at the latency on that. Right, and this link that we just put in can be opened multiple times. Oh, that's annoying. It can be opened multiple times. Um, pretty cool. So now stage 10 is, we're simply using it for guest management. You can get an invite link using OBS. Um, you can get an invite link that's made for OBS, either RTMP or WIP. It doesn't even have to be OBS. You could connect a GoPro via RTMP output, for example. It will appear in stage 10, and then you can use the copy solo link to bring individual feeds into OBS. Now, if you want the guests to communicate with each other, um, you could technically have some sort of main feed that goes back out. Um, let's say the uh, uh, stage 10 here, or you can actually just use the, the built-in mixer. So we can find maybe a, a layout we like we can bring guests, four guests in, add a little background. Now all the guests, when they join, for example, and I'll say another guest joins here, we copy another link, a guest joins, join two, and they join, let's say maybe a VR camera in this case. Um, we can bring them here, it's still loading, there we go. Um, they can now see and hear everyone in the room. Plus, you can bring this feed into your uh, OBS. Expanding on this further, you can actually take this link here um, and see my other videos. There's also a way to get this feed as a clean output. Um, but in essence, you now have an output that you can embed into, let's say, your WordPress site or into your own private website. And people can chat and see your live stream. So the way you do that is you simply enable the interactive player. And now, uh,
now you have like an interactive I meant to just do it here now you can have an interactive chat site for your guests very low latency you don't have to use twitch you don't have to use anything like that so if you have an audience that maybe you want to do a call and show uh, this supports um, a lot of options plus stage 10 has plugins for shopping polls things like that that you can then um, extend further okay this is getting a little annoying hearing myself on echo so i'll just close it out um and i just wanted to say thank you again for watching the video uh hopefully that helps if you need support you can jump on discord um i'm available at discord.video.ninja but there's also a discord for stage 10 um if you want to get support from stage 10 um as well okay guys take care